So we are in the step or part 11 of how to do a meta analysis or meta regression in R. And right now we're going to look at the subgroup analysis or moderator analysis. I'm going to just copy this one and I'm just going to put this one down there. <clears throat> yeah. So part 11. And we're just going to look at the data again. So in this file. Yeah, so I have explanation in previous tutorial. I'm just going to repeat it here. And this is the category that I have and the subcategory that I want to see. So I want to see in each type, do the difference. Uh, my question is like with the subgroup analysis for moderator analysis is really if the difference between the feedback type, for example, here, is it significant or not significant? Meaning that the difference in the feedback type on the data does it have an effect or not? You know, is implicit or explicit here? Do they have? Um, do they make difference or do they have the same effect? If you give me implicit if feedback and explicit feedback, the results going to be the same or the difference? This is what I'm interested to know. The same thing with language proficiency. I want to know if the language level is uh, data or not. Same with publication type. So this is what I'm intended to look here. So how to to do that? So basically, I'm just going to model one. You could go and look in your data. Uh, you know, just the same process. So I'm just call this one is like feedback type. And then I'm going to say assign that. And we have the metaphor. So tell us, hey, this is what I need. For this function to work, so I'm gonna tell it, hey, I have effect size, and I'm gonna add the variance, and this is where we're gonna tell our. I'm looking at the moderator, so it's modes. So this is modes, and then you wanna look at your keyboard. I think. There's a function here, it's called control R. So really in my keyboard is just above the you know the tab in my keyboard, the simple. I'm gonna tell R hey, this is the moderator that I'm looking at. Feedback type. So once I do that, let me look if the information has been stored correctly. Yeah, it seems that everything is correct, so there is no nothing here. So to call this one, I'm just click FT. So I'm just call and know the results here. We look. So we have the results. Let me look at them. So I'm just gonna extend this one. So, looking at the p-value, it says no, it doesn't have the, doesn't make any difference. It's if I have like a plus torx plus feedback. Well, we, yeah. So basically, I have the test of heterogeneity uh, and the test of moderators. So the test of moderators say it's not significant. So basically, I would be looking at the test of moderators. So because like I have two, the degree of freedom is one. I say, hey, this one, it's not statistically significant. So there's no difference with this one, with this moderator. And I'm going to check the other one, language proficiency. So basically, I'm just... I'm going to create an, another variable 
LG stands for language proficiency, same like I've done the same process. And that tells me, hey, this is if you choose this one, I want this format. You choose with this one, I want this. So kind of different symbols. R is like a big C. You wanna stick to it. Just wanna look at specifically what you're looking for. Tell R that I need this. So think, hey, I need moderator analysis. So this simple, I don't know what they call it. And then I'm just gonna tell, hey, I want the language proficiency. So it's gonna tell me, hey, this is the one. And I'm just gonna click Control Enter to see if there's any mistakes there. Nothing here. Okay, that's a mistake. And then I'm gonna call it Control G. And I'm gonna look at the results again using uh, my monitor so that's why it looks like this way same thing test of moderators so basically the difference between students and their language proficiency doesn't have any effect in the data but yours may have so the process is the same just the, the the results may differ. That I have, so I have a small data. Have only so with that being done, I'm excited to see you in the regression analysis part. So we gotta talk about regression and how it differs from subgroup analysis. So thank you for watching and see you in another tutorial.